Been doing lots of home renos on this thing. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. And I say welcome back because I've been a little MIA on here. Honestly, no real excuse. I think last year was a tough one on a lot of us and I've started this year off in lockdown again, so yay. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of you guys have wanted to see more of these what I eat in a day videos, so we're gonna do that today. I'm starving, let's make food. Is the kitchen still horribly painted and gray? Why yes, yes it is. This might be something you all already know, but you're not supposed to fill your kettle up all the way. You're only supposed to fill it with the water you need. That way, you're not using up as much electricity. So what you guys are gonna learn about me is I'm not that fancy and I really love instant oatmeal. So we're gonna take this. This is apple and cinnamon. Open it up. And we're gonna take an apple, we're gonna cut it in half. Take one off to the side, cut this one. Take out the core, slice this apple up. I will take this into like a Tupperware and this will usually last um, quite a while in the fridge. The oatmeal, I'm just gonna put some oat milk in it. Boiling water in. This is a uh, ground chia. I heard somewhere someone said that regular chia is not as good for you as ground chia because you're able to absorb ground chia more. I don't know. I sometimes listen to the internet. I sometimes don't. Gonna put my apples in. Gonna put my chia in. Grab a banana. I keep my tap water in the fridge in this thing. I'll strive to drink this throughout the day. Sometimes, sometimes I don't, sometimes I completely forget. So this is what it looks like all mixed together. It's not as darling looking, but the real apples give it like some good crunch. Okay, so after I'm done eating and only after I'm done eating, I'll take my vitamins. I don't do it before because on an empty stomach, it's no bueno for me to have to do it after I've after I've eaten. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned um, I was starting care of to you guys. And so what I did was I went on their website. I took a very quick quiz. They asked me all about my diet and my lifestyle. It's sort of like having a one-on-one -on -one consult with like a healthcare nutritionist. This was just one of the tiny changes that I made to help support my health. I know we've all had you know, a crazy last year, but I think with this new year ahead, it's important to celebrate those little victories. They're very transparent about the research behind what they're recommending you to take. That's how I can have a lot of trust in them because they're saying, okay, well, we think you should take this, here's why. And you're never obligated to order that. So this is what the box that you'll get looks like and it's all personalized. So I'll take out one of the packets and it says, hi Tasha. And there's usually a fact on it or a challenge. These little packs are made with eco-friendly compostable film. So you can put them in your compost. So I ended up getting two of the veggie omega. This is good for cognitive health. I also got the iron, which is obvious because I don't eat meat. And then I also got the vegan D, which supports uh, bone health. You guys should go do the quiz down below Below and see what care of recommends that you guys be taking for your daily vitamins and supplements if you guys are interested in getting your own personalized vitamins I actually have a really good discount code for you guys it's 50% off your first order and the code is Tasha 50 and you will just use that at checkout would it be cool if I did this transition or not cool Mm, not cool. Okay, lunch. We are gonna do falafels, falafel wraps today for lunch. If I'm being honest, it's kind of like the only thing I like right now. When I find something I like, I just eat it like for a month straight. So I use the Eve's uh, falafels. They look like this. You can get them frozen or like fresh. So like I said, I eat this all the time. So um, I have a lot of this stuff like in Tupperware containers from Yesterday when I had this exact meal, I take my falafel ball, I cut it in half, and then I cut it into, do two more cuts, so into three. And I think usually I can do like four falafel balls. In this container I have a green pepper. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. So to do that I just like cut this in half, put that back in, cut out the seeds. Any leftover just back in the fridge for when I eat this tomorrow. Then I have some onion, same with the onion. You have leftover, put it in the container, eat it later. So have some mushrooms because I bought those for dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna take like a couple 
Taking some sunflower oil, just a little bit. Dumping everything we just chopped up into this frying pan. So then I'm just heating it up and mixing it together. And while I do that, I kind of break up the falafel. While that's cooking, again, we have a tomato here from days ago. And then this is just corn from a can. I use these wraps, these spinach wraps. They're good, I like them. So one wrap, I have this guac from these little containers, um, just from like the grocery store. Then I have this, it's just like homemade um, garlic aioli. So I will put the recipe for this down below. Now the falafel was really just like heating it up because it was already cooked. So now we're gonna put this on. Cheese, dairy free. Uh, vial life looks like this. Put that on top while it's hot. Tomatoes, corn, spinach. Almost done this, water. Now I have to just say, if it looks like I can cook, I cannot at all, like at all. Um, and the only reason this was so easy is because I eat it like frequently. So there's always like pre-cut or like ready to go veggies in the fridge. Like I said, I think I'm gonna use mushrooms in my dinner tonight. That's why I had the mushrooms. So I was like, might as well use some in my falafel wrap. This is so good. So yeah, honestly, I feel like it's the easiest lunch if you're okay with eating this a couple days a week. So easy. I will see you at dinner time for probably, I wanna try something new. I don't know if that's a bad thing to do during uh, what I eat in a day, but I do wanna try something new. So maybe I will do that. I usually snack after dinner and I'm not supposed to snack after seven, but <laughs> rules are meant to be broken. Okay, so for dinner, we're actually trying something new today. I don't know if this is the perfect time to try it in a what I eat in a day, but this is what I'm eating today. It's very hard to find like a cream of mushroom soup vegan. You can make it, but I'm also lazy. So I found this, just like searching all the vegan stuff on Amazon. It's a quinoa mushroom cream soup mix. So we're gonna see how this goes. It's made by GoGo -Go Quinoa, so. I don't know, hopefully it's gonna be good. We're gonna do like a rice dish with like mushroom soup and mushrooms and tomatoes and mix it all together and it's gonna be like a gumbo. So I don't know, wish me luck. Starting this off with some Beyond Meat sausage. We're gonna put this inside of it. Have you guys had these? They're, they're phenomenal. So I'm just gonna cook these on the stove because it's winter time and don't want to barbecue. Putting some butter in my frying pan. This is the butter, by the way, that I use. It's just by Basel. It's the vegan butter, super simple. Okay, I'm gonna cook all four sausages. I think I'm gonna leave two for Michael. Two and a half cups of our milk alternative. Also says half a cup of water. Add the contents of the bag and whisk it together. I'm hoping that like oat was an okay choice. I don't know if I should have done almond, but I like to work with what I have. So let's hope this turns out good. Okay, it says we're supposed to bring this to a boil. I'm gonna slice up some of these a little bit smaller. Okay, here's the soup I've brought to a boil. It overboils. I am no chef. Then we're supposed to let it just stand for 10 to 15 minutes so that it can get all thick and creamy. These are looking good. Also, just keep turning them. I'm gonna finish cutting up this tomato so that I can use all of it. So this is going to work as like a meal prep thing. So I'll be able to have this for dinner like a couple times this week. You know, I'm gonna add this into the soup mix. So the mushrooms I probably should have cooked prior to putting them in, but I kind of like it because it's gonna be kind, they're gonna be kind of crunchy. I don't know. We'll decide so for next time I know. But anyways, this is off heat, it's just thickening up. And then uh, I made some rice, so the rice is just like chilling. Cut up some of the sausage. I only cut up two because I'm gonna give the other two to Michael. Can I add some spinach into there? I feel like, why not? I feel like that's what eating plant-based is about half the time, just like, Throwing random veggies into your dinner. First step, rice for the base. Then I'm gonna put like a bunch of sausage in so that it gets like covered in the sauce when I put it in. 
Okay, and then here is the soup. These are hemp hearts. Lots of good things in these for you. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. Okay, I really hope this is good because look at how freaking good this looks. Water, do I always drink water? No, I'll show you what I love right now in my snack portion. But throughout the day, yeah, I try to choose water. The Beyond sausage and like the mushrooms and the rice and like, I mean, and the spinach, it's all gonna be good. It's just like, is the soup good? Could this, the soup could ruin all of this. That's fantastic. Let me try it without the Beyond Meat because Beyond Meat is like very flavorful. I'd say it's a little less flavorful than regular um, cream of mushroom soup, but I don't dislike it. So it's fine. Um, maybe like a creamier milk we could do instead of oat milk, we could do like cashew or something. And all together in this dish, I really like it. I made two dinners for later. And so that would be like two dinners for the rest of the week. Okay, now we're gonna sit down and watch Yellowstone. Have you guys seen it? Um, I'm restarting it because it's that good. Anyways, this is the drink that I usually like to drink. Speaking of drinking, Oaks is drinking, but it's the Arizona iced tea with raspberry flavor. Pro tip, if you have dogs, Yeti, cup with the straw, no dog hair ever gonna get in your drink. And then I think we're gonna, I don't know, I love candy, y'all. I love candy. So I have fruit gushers, because I'm a child. Um, these super sour ones. <sighs> Phenomenal, but also it's almost Valentine's Day, so we have these soft and chewy candies by Dare. Accidentally vegan. No gelatin. These little hearts. I don't know. I might have a bit of both, because why not? Well, y'all, that's it. It's probably going to be it for what I eat today. Thank you for watching today. I just want to say something. Just because you watched me make a bunch of home-cooked stuff, please don't think that I don't just go out and grab a Beyond Meat burger or pizza whenever I can. I am not a perfect eater by any means and honestly most days I only have time for two meals. I will have breakfast, Oaks is playing with the ball. I'll have breakfast and dinner and like half the time I have that falafel for dinner so I'm not a perfect eater. The purpose of this video is to just show you some new meals that you guys could eat also. And I do tend to snack a lot, but obviously three meals today, I wasn't snacking that much. I'm not a perfect eater and like, don't let this video make you feel bad for your eating habits because they're your eating habits and I can't tell you what to put in your body. Nobody should. So that's something I gotta say because sometimes when I watch these, I feel a little bit guilty about what I eat and um, just know that you didn't see like the massive amounts of candy I ate last week. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Care Of and get yourself some personalized vitamins. It'll help you stay on track, especially if you're vegan and you're not getting enough in your diet or plant-based or vegetarian. Okay, bye guys.